What is up, everybody? Back again with another video in the How Strong series. I hope you guys are enjoying this run so far. I hope you guys are enjoying all these posts I've been doing recently, especially some of my most recent posts and things like that. But today I'll be doing something really unique and something I don't think nobody in the history of YouTube has done. It's pretty much somebody analyzing how strong is the leader. You know, Samuel Stearns, like the brainiac, super smart person that's one of the Hulk's greatest foes. And he's also a relative member of the Gamma member family. Like, he is a Gamma member himself. But it feels a little inappropriate to say how strong is the leader. I mean, he's not really a powerhouse type of character. He's just a brainiac type of character, intelligent type of character, super intellectual type of character. So I guess the appropriate term would be how smart is the leader. And he has some of the best technology with his brain and a lot of different achievements he has accomplished with his brain. So let's get into it. So naturally, being a brainiac type of character, he naturally has like a lot of different types of gear, like a lot of different forms of, you know, how he does things like it's just ridiculous. So I will go like gear by gear to really show you what his gear can really do. Before he was before he was like considered the leader, he was an unskilled laborer, evidently. But he was hit with gamma rays and his, instead of making him like a powerhouse, he actually got like ridiculously strong with his brain, evidently. Some would say, quote unquote, he is as smart as the Hulk is strong, which should technically mean he should have limitless potential when it comes to intellectual paralysis, which I, which makes me a little makes me a little curious on why he isn't considered at least in the top five of Marvel's smartest characters on Earth. But that's beyond me. Maybe it's because of popularity, power, or, you know, right intent, never really explored what the leader really can do. The leader has an assortment of robots that he controls with his brain, and it's kind of like an extension of himself. So it's kind of like he feet for him because, like, they wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for him. He uses his brain. So this is his intellectual and brain feet. Giant humanoids that he created are strong enough and powerful enough to walk through giant mountains with ease relatively, swatting these things out of the air. There's even times where the Hulk, quote unquote, struggles with his grip, evidently, with these giant humanoids that leader created. These giant humanoid creatures can like kind of slug it out with Hulk that the leader created. This is pretty ridiculous. Leader being the smart guy he is, he even has like made out of an interesting material like elasticity. It's like rubbery, so it can kind of take Hulk's hits. You can see here, it makes like a dent, bounces off and things like that. Hulk tries to grab it. It looks like rubbery and stretchy. Hulk has been shown to even try to slam them or even throw stuff at him and they just bounce off. Leader really creates really powerful stuff with his mind. It's so cute when the military tries to fight these gamma beings or even the gamma beings like experiments. Of course their stuff is going to be a lot better than the military. Why would they even try this if this thing is giving Hulk a challenge? Even powerhouses like Wonder Man, I've, I've done a video about him and yeah, he's ridiculously strong. He's not even sure how to take them down. I mean, Leader made a group of them. Even Captain America's shield and Hawkeye's arrows are evidently useless against these humanoid beings. Like, Leader is causing some ruckus with these things. Yeah, his intellect. You know, Thor, the god of strength, the being that's consistently shown to be on Hulk's level. It, like, even even he's having trouble with these beings. His Mjolnir just stretches it, but it doesn't break it. It actually bounces the Mjolnir off of it. Like, whoa. These things are even so insane, they can evidently reconstruct themselves. How is Leader doing this, you ask? Well, evidently, whatever they see, he can see. It's like a broadcast, and so it's like really like him. Like, he's completely responsible for this, so this is definitely a Leader feat when it comes to intellect and what he, how dangerous the Leader actually is. Some of this stuff almost seems like it's not even scientific no more. Even mass produced him in an egg-like style. Like, what? Eggs? You're probably already impressed with Leader, man, but I'm just getting started. How about the fact he has a lot of cool, like, gadgets? Like, I've told you, I said this at the beginning of the video, but, like, he actually has vehicles, too. Yeah, this dude has a full freaking armory, man. I mean, this is how you explore somebody's intellect, man. That's why he should have been in the freaking sequel of the Hulk movie. If the Hulk movie in 2008 would have been successful. And you guys remember the Watchers? You know, the beings that, you know, watch stuff without interfering? <laughs> how about the fact that the Leader actually has tech? To watch the watcher, like what? This dude is always prepared. Being very smart, like he is, he has a very un he has vehicles like undetectable ships, like with special aura he makes. Everything is linked to the leader psionically. Like, he even has bases in space that c obey his psychic commands. Like it's literally just an extension of him. Leader is very smart to make computer not have its own mind, but it evidently has him in it. He even has machines that can watch in on people while being invisible to the naked eye. Another machine he owns is space. Omnivac, it is powered by his mind force. 
and is indeed shielded from sight, of course. His AIs are so sophisticated that he even stated that they can become an AI butler. They even discipline. Of course, like most smart people, he has to be one of those people that has an actual time machine in one of the many gears he does have. Of course he does. You would think a character that has a time machine would just automatically win. Without rambling too much, evidently this mind, evidently this time machine can alter the minds of those transported I know I'm jumping all over the place, but you know the robots I was telling you about earlier that the leader made? You know the elastic ones? How about the fact they join together, they can make a bigger one? Like, these beings, this is like one of the best creations of the leader, in my personal opinion. To make matters worse, I mean, leader even has a large assortment of rays. Like, the little things he creates and things like that. They have, like, he has rays and ray guns, obviously. He even has rays that mold his material as needed. With enough prep time, he can do a lot of things. He even has rays that can evidently cure his own death. The leader is a master tactician. Heck, he's even faked his own death multiple times. This dude leader is a freaking beast when it comes to intellectual paralysis. He has rays that are so powerful where he can knock out a weakened Hulk, but he does state that normally that they wouldn't, they wouldn't work, though. But this is pretty cool regardless. A weakened Hulk, I mean, it's still Hulk. I mean, he's still freaking strong, right? Yeah, and of course, these ridiculously powerful robots that I've shown you earlier have the ability to shrink and grow. Uh, he literally has the ability to shrink and grow his robots like he wishes his creations. Another occasion of this happening. Another occasion of this happening. You wouldn't be much of a smart type of character in Marvel if you didn't have any type of way to defend yourself, especially if your body's vulnerable. Heck, he has rage to defend himself, shield himself. He even has strategies to where he deceives people to make them think they're actually talking to the real him. When he feels like his real self is in danger, he just projects a fake version of himself to really like fill the void. He has gases that can knock out powerhouses like the Hulk. This dude leader is specializing in gamma and taking down gamma beings, evidently. You know those powerful robots that the Avengers had such a hard time with? I think you're probably wondering, what if they turned on him? Well, actually, leader has a contingency plan for that, too. He has it to where if they wanted to come at him, which would never happen, really, he can disintegrate them with a special mist or beam he has. Like, yeah, he prepared for all of that. This dude is so strong. This dude is so smart that he actually makes some... Some call it quote unquote prisons where Joy Fix it had trouble busting out of a glass roof. This definitely was definitely a different type of glass roof. Man, the leader has so much tech and unique equipment, man. I'm just gonna start going through them randomly without going to them. So you guys already know about his robots that are plastine thin or whatever, they rubbery type of creatures or whatever. That's one of his most famous ones. They can even join together and make more of them, but then he has a lot of other tech like there's a time when he was able to improve Rhino suit. Rhino is one of those characters I can't stand, man. He's Struggles with Spider-Man one day and then he fights Hulk. Like, it doesn't make sense. He even has a device that amplifies the telekinesis. Yeah, evidently the leader. Of course, people with a big head or mind abilities have telekinesis, right? He has technology, aka his gloves, that we've seen before in other videos about Hulk, that he can send the Hulk strength back at him with, of course. Crazy Ted. You know, Doctor Doom, one of debatably one of the most powerful or smartest beings in Marvel. You know, he's a magical sorcerer and a, technically an Iron Man type character. Well, how about the leader has stuff and shields that can block blast from him? Evidently, he was able to cause Samson discomfort, evidently, with his slap. So he might not be human level physically. He made this so-called quote-unquote thing, the Redeemer, for General Ross. He made this giant that's very powerful. It can even get giant. It could even harm kids like Joy Fix It, like the Hulk, like pierce his skin, like this thing is powerful. This could be leader being cocky, but considering his abilities, he considers Dr. Doom one of the smartest people ever in the world, lesser. Being as smart as he is, it's no surprise he can hack the CIA. He's attracted to other girls with big heads like him, evidently. It's very unknown how he's able to do this, but he can somehow sense radiation. I mentioned this earlier in the videos, but of course, like I said earlier, like, like what's a Marvel character with a big head or very strong thinking skills or things like that in Marvel without them having mind powers. Of course, the leader has to have mind powers on top of the fact he's a ridiculous genius. He doesn't even need mind powers because all this tech and stuff he creates with his mind and things like that. But yeah, he does have mind abilities as well. One of his mind abilities that he does have is evidently he can emit gamma rays, which makes sense. He's a gamma being in the gamma family. He has mind abilities to where he can be deceitful and evidently make himself quote unquote huge. Even though he's not actually huge, it's just a mind trick. According to Red Hulk, evidently he has the most powerful mind on the planet. Yeah, and that's saying a lot on Earth. And evidently can switch bodies on top of this. I mean, we've even seen this in older comics. Can use his mind to keep in contact with the Hulk across the galaxy. Like what? That's a very vast distance. That's, that's some force sensitivity stuff. Evidently his gamma power brain can like less people with power on some 
Wizard Shazam type stuff, like what in the type of stuff. Of course, it's not going to be no crazy, crazy amp, but like, man, he can like empower people to help his bidding. This is so freaking overpowered. He's already ridiculously smart and he can do things like this. Makes a mental force field that can throw soldiers around with the telekinesis. Literally does some Professor X stuff and just like controls the soldiers, like just straight up controls them. Literally takes down an entire military base. Yep, and he could even actually project and not actually be there. Controls an entire military base. Even making those same soldiers fight the Hulk. Consistently shown to be a, a nuisance for Hulk. Consistently shown to fight the Hulk. Even blasting Great Hulk back with his mind abilities. Showing that he isn't just a tech person. On top of the fact he has psychic powers in his own body. But how about the fact when he actually possesses somebody with his power. They have psychic powers. It's like him. It's like still him evidently. Like an avatar of him in their body. Like that's freaking crazy. He possibly died. He evidently made himself a new body evidently. Very interesting way to gain control of people. And evidently after a headbutt, he can gain control of people just from contact. I'm assuming this just has something to do with him making physical contact. Mentioned that he can mentally paralyze people. Now it's time to get into his prep time feeds. Oh boy. He evidently has elaborate plans that evidently have Hulk do his bidding. With preparation hiring these beings known as the UFOs, of course. Preparation, yeah, of course, you got to recruit a lot of people. My, most mind and smart people do this type of thing. Similar to Grod from D.C., how he, you know, in Just League, the limited show, he created the society and things like that. So good with talking, where well, he was able to negotiate a contract with Mephisto to let them and the Thunderbolts go free, evidently, in this scenario. Peter has his way of talking. He has contingency plans to where if his base gets destroyed, he has his robots go send out to go for get, look for Gamma. They actually send him in human form to go get more Gamma. He's so smart that he knows how events will concur ahead of time. Like, he knew for a fact he predicted World War Hulk. The event award will hold. He is actually able to plan the Hulk's destruction far in advance with his prep time. As you can see here, as you can see here, one of the many efforts of his plan is plan unfolding. First, he wants to kidnap Betty, because you know that's going to lure the Hulk in. Then making Betty meet Hulk to slow him down. As you can see here, everything's going according to plan. While all of this is happening, he he goes to steal a gamma bomb. This is the, the ultimate proof that he did all of this stuff according to plan, even having him play a tape of everything that has transpired so far. Yeah, the leader's that cunning. Had all this stuff planned out. Has this timer only to bait Hulk, only to make superhumans. Yeah, all this was according to plan. Like, he planned all of this out. Like, talking about prep time and strategies and thinking ahead and analyzing multiple possibilities and probabilities. This also allowed him to make energy like jails, jail bait too. Wow, this is incredible. Can even make prisons that can, can kind of contain Professor Hulk as well. Very strong prisons. This big old plan that he constructed also created other gamma beings that kind of can hang with Hulk, someone to, one would say. Yeah, there's still many bosses for him, I would say, though. Bouncing all over the place, but he has gamma rays or rays in general that can like turn Hulk into Banner. He has rays that can reconstruct things like beings like this. You know those robots he owns? He can like be, he can really mess with his opponents. Like, you know, those little rubbery robots that give the Avengers trouble and may throw his meal near bounce off. Like he can like makes his face pop appear on them robots to really get in the heads of his people he's fighting. To really mess with them psychologically. To make matters worse, leaders should be appearing in the future of Immortal Hulk. We see them in that one issue of Immortal Hulk during the possible future of the Hulk becoming cosmic. And evidently that's like some time travel event that's happening. And we see the leader and then we don't see nothing else after that. But we haven't seen him since then. But he will be appearing in Immortal Hulk evidently to see more feats for the leader. So we can get excited for that as well. A lot of people are probably wondering what has he, been, has he been doing relevantly recently. But evidently, even even in a recent comic, we know when the Immortal Hulk fought Weapon H. Yeah, I know. The Wolverine and the Hulk put together and a lot of other characters put together. Fought the Immortal Hulk. Hulk drained him. And evidently, that was a part of his plan. He accidentally infected the Hulk with a gamma virus that was actually able to incapacitate Immortal Hulk. So, yeah. Leader is still added with his intellectual, intellectual things that he does. His prep time feeds and things like that. Even able to complete, completely harm characters like Immortal Hulk with his prep strategy and tactics the leader is nothing to be reckoned with all of this stuff you're probably wondering why is the leader not the smartest dude in marvel and he's a gamma being he's evidently as smart as the hulk is strong right he should technically be the smartest right i mean it's one of those things where it's like writer intent if the writer doesn't want a character to be a certain thing no matter how many powers he has no matter what he's just going to be below them writer intent is the ultimate it's the ultimate power of all like the writers choose what they want to do and what these characters leaders should technically be more 
relevant than he is when it comes to the smart people in Marvel. As smart as he is, he does have respect and he's very respected among the gamma beings, but I feel like he is still, some would say, still underrated compared to other smart people in the community like Dr. Doom and Reed Richards. I feel like he should be up there with them, realistically speaking. I mean, I think he should be, but you know how writers are. They, they're going to have them above him if they want to, but what do you guys think? Do you think he's underrated? Do you think he's overrated? Did you know that he was this powerful and smart based on the feats I told you? Did you know he had telekinesis? You probably didn't know that. You probably just thought he was a smart dude that was just making tech and stuff. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. But do you think he deserves more feats? Do you think his feats should be a little bit more flashy considering how smart he is? I mean, heck, you would think somebody this smart would just be able to make himself freaking super strong like the Hulk, right? <laughs> but that's just me. What do you guys think? You guys enjoyed this feat run for the leader? Did you guys know he was this impressive? Shoot, during the research of this video of myself, I've learned some stuff about the leader. I mean, I already did deep research beforehand years ago about leader, of course, because I love him and I've read comments with the leader and things like that. But when you really dig deep into it, you get to really see his potential. And his potential is seemingly limitless when it comes to intellect. But like I said, Marvel has who they want to be the smartest for a reason. I mean, that's, what can you do about it? But what do you guys think? Check out the playlist in the description below. You will enjoy this playlist. I do a lot of videos like this similar to this. Make sure you check out that affiliate links in the uh, description below as well. You will see some gear that you like, helpful like a USB drive, multi-purpose USB drive, where I can transfer Apple devices to Android and things like that. A freaking capture card that doesn't even allow, doesn't even need a computer to work or function. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Things like that. I have very cool suggestions for you guys that you probably would like, and it also helps support my channel as well if you buy from those links as well. But you know, of course, you ain't got to. I'm mean, you know, you just do what you want to do. And, and I'm just I'm just glad that you're on my page in general, and I don't want this to be the last video you see of me. And hopefully you binge watch more after seeing this. But what do you guys think? Post comments down below. Share. Check the description below. Check out those playlists on my page. You will love them playlists, especially the How Strong series. I even have a full blown Hulk playlist, so I more than likely could put this in the Hulk playlist as well, since he is a Hulk gamma being, evidently. So. That seems fair and appropriate, but what do you guys think? I want to hear them comments below, and I will see you guys next time.